नमस्ते टू एवरीवन नमस्ते कुमार मैया गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते भैया सो वी हैड टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट टुडे रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन सम ऑफ योर एक्सेप्टेंस दैट मे हैव चेंज्ड ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू डेज और वीक्स और मंथ्स और इयर्स एंड नोटिस हाउ योर बिहेवियर हैज चेंज्ड इन लाइट ऑफ दिस एक्सेप्टेंसेस In addition, how the assumption or acceptance that self is the same as body influences you in the choices you make on a daily basis. For example, the clothes you choose to wear, the food choices you make, the activities you choose to do, etc. Observe how many of your assumptions may not be based on knowing. Note your observations in the journal. So yesterday we were discussing that there are four activities involved in the response by the self. knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling so long as i am active only in the domain of assuming recognizing and fulfilling i am in problems and when i ensure knowing and that is possible through education sanskar then i am resolved so the way we assume the same way we recognize the relationship and try to fulfill it yes nice here yeah. so the whole problems of humanity are basically to do with this that the knowing is not ensured we are only working in the domain of assuming recognizing and fulfilling and there could be so many assumptions i have to live with the reality if i do not know the reality i assume about the reality as simple as this and the way i assume in a similar way i recognize and fulfill so i have to live with myself So I assume something about the self. I assume something about the body. I have to live in a family. I assume something about the family. Something about the relationship. I have to go on a job and on physical facilities. So I assume something about my profession. Something about the physical facilities that I need. I have to live in the neighborhood of so many people. So I assume something about them. I assume something about the society at large. I assume something about the nature. the air water soil plants trees animals birds because i have to live with them isn't it and the knowing is not ensured so i assume something or the other and layer by layer when i keep on assuming the same thing again and again it becomes a deep conditioning in me and this is our current state we get conditioned now through education some star what happens we are able to pay attention to the natural acceptance to the reality and in that process the knowing starts and as knowing starts the purification of our sanskars also the conditioning also gets started so our assumptions start getting questioned we start questioning our assumptions how do i assume this on what basis do i assume this now on one hand we are referring to the natural acceptance on the other hand we are questioning our assumptions and when we are not able to see that they are in line with natural acceptance the conditioning the depth of the conditioning goes down so they are no longer that deep and gradually we are able to purify our we are able to transform our assumptions this is the process we are in now if you look at our gradual development it is taking time for us to refer to the natural acceptance many times it is not clear whether it is natural acceptance or acceptance so time and again we have to meet we have to discuss we have to pay attention sometimes we feel motivated to pay attention to our natural acceptance by ourselves sometimes we do not feel motivated then the situations outside force us to pay attention because we are in problems because we are caught up in some problems in the relationship or health issues might be there or some uncertainty some insecurity might be there so either way like by ourselves also we try to reflect on the natural acceptance and if we do not do it sin- sincerely then the situation outside forces us also so in that process we start paying attention to the natural acceptance and this is what we are trying to do and secondly uh, as we go along we find that we also face our deep conditions we are getting exposed to our deep conditions and then sometimes we struggle with them sometimes we evaluate them sometimes we try to transform them but 
with all this you know uh, process of development ultimately we are developing as a human being we are developing to human consciousness we are able to evolve the self we are able to awaken to the higher activities of the self so this is the real meaning of education sanskar so with that only we took the assignment yesterday that our assumptions determine our recognition and fulfillment so how we can observe as our acceptance changes our assumption changes our recognition and fulfillment also changes so our decision making also changes our behavior also changes so try to note before the workshop what you are assuming and now how do you assume so you might have seen so many changes in your behavior you can just have a kind of overall overview of uh, the changes that might have taken place in you in your conduct in your behavior in your vision in your thought again since uh, we also discussed about the coexistence of self and body many times we assume the self to be the same as body and then we are in problems so it keeps on influencing our choices in the daily life we'll discuss it further today so we'll see that if i assume myself to be the body then i make one kind of choices because my aspiration basically is to be happy and as soon as i assume myself to be the body i try to fetch happiness through body isn't it so either i either through favorable sensation from the body or by doing certain things you know which could be in uh, line with some show off or to get some favorable feeling from others and that keeps on influencing our decisions because the happiness does not seem to be my innate nature so i have to keep on doing something to borrow happiness from outside fetch it from people outside fetch it from physical facilities outside and that keeps on influencing our choices of food or clothes of gadgets of things and then we can also note how our assumptions may not be based on knowing uh, now to begin with like you can start doing it but the point is unless i know the reality i also do not know how i was assuming something different from the reality so the proposal has come to us and it seems to be a reality but if i look at it myself and you know, really uh, then i have to do some work some tedious work to exactly make out whether this is the reality or this is just an assumption about the reality but yes the good thing is that the more we are into this process of self exploration we are developing we are evolving our priority is changing you see spending one hour every day in the morning is itself a nice shift in our life it is a good shift towards transformation isn't it many of us have been attending the morning session for months together years together so at least the priority has come and that is showing up as transformation in our thought our behavior our vision for life our conduct nice so if any reflection is there regarding the assignment that we took yesterday you may raise your hand and share if any question is there you know see you are most welcome to ask we'd like to invite more and more sharing and reflections and questions from batch 10 good morning all yeah uh, now this is my uh, third batch i'm attending and uh, it has been now almost 12 months or uh, more than that uh, i started attending this uh, sessions i can see a lot of change in uh, me with regard to my perceptions and uh, people are also observing me uh, with respect to my uh, behavior and my treatment with them uh, is all because of uh, the um, content which you people are sharing and, and uh, the guidance which you are giving us daily uh, how to go ahead uh, with the daily practices uh bhai i can share that uh, these days uh, the content of a peace in the mind i mean 
state of mind is very peaceful. Uh, the uh, I, I can also see that the um, I mean earlier I used to uh, talk very speed, speed. But uh, these days uh, there is a uh, something we we call in Hindi me thera thera. That is also. And uh, as far as uh, the the uh, say uh, uh, understanding is concerned, so uh, these days uh, uh, the practice of looking uh, any person uh, from the uh, identity of self has increased. Uh, uh, these days I feel uh, that uh, uh, that I'm talking to self. I'm not talking to any person, individual uh, sense of it. But uh, whenever I uh, talk to somebody, whenever I meet somebody, I, I feel that I'm talking uh, with us, uh, the another self. And uh, uh, because of this, uh, I'm also feeling that the other person is uh, also like me, uh, like me, uh, like the self in me. So uh, that has uh, uh, made a very profound change. Uh, Profound means a very uh, lot of change in my uh, say uh, uh, dealing with people, uh, and because of which uh, there is a change in uh, I uh, say also uh, family members, my friends, and all that. So uh, this is the general uh, I can say summary. Like we put uh, put it uh, so. now uh, with regard to the uh, Practices. I mean, say, say daily practices. Earlier, uh, 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 when I started uh, this exercise and when this content was put uh, before me, as to uh, observe this uh, self, body, the needs of self and body. Uh, but here, uh, now uh, uh, this is my uh, I mean third batch, and now I can see that uh, uh, this natural acceptance. Earlier, I used to. Uh, Say, say sort of remind myself as to every time I have to uh, see whether I'm uh, in my uh, say natural acceptance or not when I'm uh, receiving any uh, say suppose I'm hearing uh, suppose I'm hearing any word as to uh, evaluate that whether I'm uh, uh, whether uh, the response which I'm giving is uh, with respect to natural acceptance or not but now uh, these days uh, I'm at I'm already at peace and it has become a sort of say, and say uh, it's a regular practice or it is a, it has become a habit. But more often, I'm at peace, and uh, it, it is a sort of a automatic thing that I'm referring to my natural acceptance. Of course, there are several incidences when uh, I also tend to uh, uh, refer to my uh, assumptions, but. Uh, now, uh, this referring to uh, not to assumptions, but also uh, but to other uh, natural assumptions has increased. And uh, uh, earlier, uh, when I started with my seventh batch, I had to deliberately put uh, that natural acceptance uh, uh, while uh, hearing, while listening, while uh, you know uh, saying anything or while deciding anything. But now, uh, this practice of uh, your, um, uh, using natural acceptance uh, or anything uh, has increased a lot, and uh, and uh, most of the time I'm feeling it very very peace. So just I want to share this with you. Uh, it is very uh, profound, and I'm really grateful to you all people, all brother, and uh, the content and uh, and uh, gratitude to the uh, person who has in introduced all these things. Thank you very. Much. Nice, nice, Bija. So this is something that we are reflecting upon. So long as we are in the domain of assuming, recognizing and fulfilling, we are in problems. And the, all the problems in our life are owing to this. The moment we start exploring, the moment we start knowing the reality as it is, then we feel resolved. And this is the whole purpose of education and star. So you see that the human order inherits education and star. We are able to see that the conduct is determined by the education of star we receive. 
it could be either for family or informal education or from the not outside. But this is what we really want to be. We want to be resolved, isn't it? You don't want to think problems. And when the knowing is ensured within us of the reality, starting from self to the entire existence, then what we assume now is in line with the knowing as an acceptance. And then our conduct is definite. We are self-organized. We are no longer dictated by things outside. Isn't it? Nice beer. So we can see that I am the consciousness, body is material. So my need is continuous happiness. It is the need of consciousness and is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling in the self. And right understanding and right feeling in the self essentially means awakening the higher activity of the self. So my needs are fulfilled within me, by me, just by my activities. Very nice thing. You'll observe that my being is not dependent on anything outside. My happiness is not dependent on anything outside. And if I am able to see this clearly and ensure it within me, I'm liberated. I'm in a state of continuity of happiness, no longer dictated by anything from outside. I am there. I can see it is. I am always in my happy state. Isn't it? So the need of consciousness is fulfilled by the activities of consciousness. Very nice. Just to see that I do not have to fetch anything from outside to be happy. And happiness is essentially the state of harmony within. That can continue only if I do not have to depend on anything outside, even the body for my happiness. So this is quite possible. This process of awakening a higher level activity, that is extreme gratitude. I need to drive the body as instrument, I need to interact with the world outside. So presently it is a two-way process. I am very calm within, I am very outside, I am coming back from outside, I am very calm within going outside. And whatever information I get from outside, I have to meet inside and then evaluating myself. So I keep on doing this as a recursion process. Single who got lost. Yes, I'm connected again. Ji. So earlier I was dependent on size star utilizing it. Okay. I started making right utilization of my body of the physical facilities. Yeah, am I audible? Uh, you are audible, but disconnected for a few seconds. Okay. So please uh, repeat for uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, am I audible? So. Yes, yes, you are audible, Bhaiya. You are audible now. Okay. Bhaiya. But for 30 seconds, you are not audible. You are you not disconnected. So if you can start in 30 seconds okay, prior to that. So I think that I can see very much that I ensure happiness within me by activity by awakening the activities of mind presently the activities are not awakened so i'm not asked you to awaken my higher level activities and then i can see that my happiness is ensured by my own activities i do not have to fetch any information from outside i do not have to take anything from outside to ensure happiness within me i am happy within me by awakening the higher level activities and then i participate i participate with happiness. Presently, it may be the case that we are participating for happiness, and that will be there. That is a gradual process of development, and that happens like this only. So, presently, I do not have the right understanding and right feeling in completeness. So, I'm dependent on something outside. Now, even like one scenario could be that I'm trying to get some favorable sensation from the body or some favorable feeling from others for the sake of happiness. When I'm exploring also, then I'm taking proposals from outside. I'm discussing you know, with people 
which is again an interaction with the outside world. I am validating in my living again, trying to get something as a feedback in my outside world. But in this whole process, what I'm doing, I'm trying to awaken my higher level activities within me. So going by this process of recursive self-exploration, doing it again and again, I'm able to come to a state when my higher level activities are awakened. And then there is continuity of harmony in me. So now I'm no longer dependent on anything outside for my happiness. It is there in me stated in me i'll continue with that and then share it outside so i still participate it's not that i get cut off from the rest of the world once the source of happiness is inside i still participate but now with happiness earlier i was doing it for happiness and that is a major shift whether i'm participating with the outside world for happiness or with happiness when i'm doing it with happiness then the outcome outside does not determine my happiness i'm happy within and i'm interacting but it is if it is not a case then the outcomes outside keep on you know, determining our state keep on fluctuating in our feeling in our thoughts so things like that may be happening so one simple thing that we can see from this diagram also that the need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling and that is an activity of the self itself G. so the Conclusion is that the need of the consciousness is fulfilled by the activities of consciousness. Now, when I look at the body, I find it material. <clears throat> it is completely physiochemical. And I can see that there is some need of the body also. It is there in terms of physical facility. And the body is material in nature. The physical facilities are also material in nature. So the needs of the body are fulfilled by physiochemical things, which are material in nature. So need of the material <clears throat> is fulfilled by material. So the needs of the consciousness are fulfilled by the consciousness. Needs of the material are fulfilled by the material. We can see it so clearly, so distinctly. No need to mix up. We'll see that in our imagination, things are mixed up. You are not able to see very clearly. The line of thought is somewhat zigzag. You know, they are intertwined. Like one kind of thought influencing another kind of thought, the other thought influencing the first kind of thought. We are not able to reach the conclusion. We are somewhat caught up in our own imagination, struggling within. Why is that? Because we are not able to see the material as it is. We are not able to see the consciousness as it is. The two exercises that we are doing, we are trying to observe the consciousness as it is in exercise one and the material as it is in exercise two. Once we are able to do this, we can also see the space as it is. So the whole task you know, in the process of knowing is to see the consciousness as it is, the material as it is, as it is and the space as it is, that's all. You will also see that earlier, when we try to make out our thoughts or feelings, so there was a lot of zigzag or fluctuation or lack of clarity or somewhat appearing very hazy inside, not clear. But the more we feel resolved, the more we are into this process of exploration, we can see simply the chain of thought. We can see how you know, the analysis is going on. We can see the focus there, the priority there, the clarity there. So need of the consciousness is fulfilled by the activities of consciousness. Need of the material is fulfilled by material. We are not saying activities of the material. We can say when we include like <laughs> the uh, physiochemical things also as material, activities of material, that is also one possible way of saying. But here we are saying that the Needs of the body are not going to be fulfilled by the activities of the body. We have to take something from outside. There we are dependent. So the body is dependent on the physiochemical things outside for the fulfillment of the needs. But I am not dependent on anything outside. Can we see this? 
and we can also see that physical facilities required only for three purposes for nurturing the body protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body so whatever physical facilities we require we can simply club them into three heads and if they are not falling into any of these heads we can also question whether i need this facility or not so i'll suggest that let us take it as a kind of open exploration we start questioning why i am using this what is the purpose behind this so maybe we will get some fresh questions and it is it really required so many times we utilize physical facilities for sharing our feeling that is quite possible so what is the purpose behind this what purpose is it serving so try at all the physiochemical things in your house and start questioning make a list of all the facilities so generally it so happens no that on weekends we plan that okay this weekend i am going to clean my house you know i am going to clean the spider web and we am going to clean all these things which generally i am not able to clean so maybe on some weekend we can plan that we'll you know, make a list of all the facilities we'll look at them and question what is the purpose of this i have kept this sofa what is the purpose i have kept this uh, table what is the purpose utensils in the kitchen what is the purpose clothes in the almira there also how many varieties of clothes what is the purpose we can question each and everything and try to see whether the purpose is clear or not so we'll also come across so many things we will feel that i am not very clear about the purpose but it just that it uh, it is like that i like it then you can question what do i <clears throat> like in it what is my liking for so this is also doable task we can look at all the facilities in our house and start questioning them the purpose behind that the good thing is that the more i question it i am able to see the limitedness of the need for that so i can see that for nurturing the body the need for physical facility is limited okay so if i consume food below a certain limit the body is not going to be healthy and if i consume food above a certain limit it is still not going to be healthy similarly for protecting the body okay what facilities i require can there be a limit to it for rightly utilizing the body can there be a limit to it can i make out the need correctly there isn't it so we can look into the purpose we can look into the limitedness of the need for the facility and then we naturally have a feeling of prosperity if we have enough if not then we can work more for it going this way you'll see that there could be a scenario where many families in our society can very much see that what they already have is much more than required so nice to observe this so while we were not feeling prosperous working day and night accumulating indulging and you know, doing so many things here and there maybe sometimes using mal practices in exchange in storage now we are able to see very naturally that i have enough just by observing myself just by observing the reality i start feeling prosperous which was not there it 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 is a common sharing in the workshops also that people have shared that while they were not clear about what prosperity means and were working so much for physical facility just by sitting in the workshop they feel as if now they are completely prosperous they don't have to bother about it they have much more than what they require we are conducting one workshop in kanpur and one person was attending the workshop who shared in the evaluation that i had a car costing 8 lakh rupees and he once went to delhi by his car and he had a friend in delhi he told him that okay let us go to the showroom you are using the same old car for 5 years i will show you a new brand of a car it costs nearly 16 lakh rupees it is such a good car and he <clears throat> good car and he went to the showroom saw the car also made the deal 
and then he said that okay once i go back to kanpur i'll arrange for the funds and then they get scar then in the meantime he came and attended the workshop and he could see that the car that he is using is going to be okay for the next 15 years unless some government norm changes it was working so well so it doesn't need a car so he said that one good achievement of attending this workshop is that it has saved my 8 lakh rupees in fact more than that because that old car was costing 8 lakh rupees and if you could sell it as a second hand car if I, you would not have get got more than 5 lakh rupees <clears throat> but it has saved you know looking that way 11 lakh rupees <laughs> so he said that is very good that you could save you know so may, some such an amount by just attending the workshop but still there is a problem you have to decide what you are going to do with this amount now the 8 lakh Like rupees that got saved, you know. If you do not have the right understanding of things, then we'll invest it somewhere else. Maybe not for car, but something else. So you have to again decide what right utilization you are going to make of this amount. Yes. So you start looking at things. start finding really required as physical facility as i can see we hardly use it and keep in locker with the hope that we may use it in future yeah so all the issues become pertinent in place of just saying yes or no we can start looking into the expectation that we have so one example could be jewelry so if i am having jewelry what is the expectation out of it why do i go for it it may have some valid reason also so try to look into it will not evaluate it here but try to look into it is it for fulfilling the needs of the body uh, when some uncertainty is there in the future or is it to get some favorable sensation from the body or is it to get some favorable feeling from the other or something else find it out keep it open and find it out this could be just one example we generally avoid uh, talking about jewelry in the workshop because uh, it might be disturbing at times so we generally do not take this example but yes this is also subject to exploration we can observe it very much nice so if any sharing or any question is there you can raise your hand and ask yes sir good morning sir um, good morning this yes this body depend on material units outside uh, that was very clear to me sir but me the self i am not depend on anything outside um maybe anything outside material units or even conscious units i going to able to see that oh, one doubt i it is like even to improve my competence i have i depend on the other selves who is more competent than me so in in that way if i see that i am depend on outside outside yes it- so we'll say that yes presently we are dependent on outside so this is the process of development also for example the student is dependent on the teacher for guidance so that is fine that is natural so if i am dependent on something outside for ensuring right understanding and right feeling so two things we can observe that this is taking me to a state where right understanding can be achieved within and second thing it is again temporary it's not that i have to you know, be dependent in continuity i can be dependent temporarily when i am getting some proposals from outside getting some help from outside in the process of self exploration but gradually i have to come to a state when i can see the reality within yes yes sure sir thank you nice bhaiya good morning to all i here uh, one point good i good morning saving is very important if i have money is in my pocket that is a, i do some uh, purchase something and everything but if i have purchase in the house in the house loan i have forced to uh, give that money in the bank that is in the emi in the way i have informed that is a future i want to don't have any peace like that so i think the purchase of the new house is not required now but future it's 
helpful. From the right understanding, I have think in that way. Is it correct? Yeah. So again, we have to make out the need for physical facility. And when we are getting physical facility through exchange, not producing directly, then we have to go for money. So we have to save for the future because there would be some time when our body is not healthy enough to produce. So we have to save for such occasions. So saving is fine. So there are two things, saving and accumulation. So we have to draw the line between saving and accumulation. So when it is meant for protect, nurturing, protecting and right utilizing the body, it is saving. But when it is meant for getting some sensation from the body or some favorable feeling from others, in addition to this, then it becomes accumulation. So you of course need facilities for these three purposes. But if in addition to this, we are going for show off or we are going for sensual pleasures and then it becomes a kind of accumulation. So if I'm able to look at this purpose clearly, then I can be, make out how much I uh, need to save. I'll give an example here. So we can, this is a kind of uh, crude calculation. I can roughly make out how, how much would be the lifespan of a human being. So maybe we can take it as 100 years you know, on a very positive side we can see. So you take your lifespan to be 100 years. So you can make out how many years you are going to live you know, or how many years are left. Now with that, you know, if you look at the current price level, you can make out how much money I require. We can articulate that the if you are, let's say, saving some money in the bank, saving something as a fixed deposit or something, you know, so or some pension scheme, so you can articulate what would be the rate of interest that I get. And you can also see the rate of inflation. So more or less, you'll see that the rate of interest that we get and the rate of inflation are more or less equal. You know, sometimes this is higher, sometimes that is higher. And there would be something around between, let's say, 7 to 8% or something. So leave that figure. I'm giving you a rough calculation. So you can very much make out how much money will, will I require in the rest of my life. Isn't it? So, you add all kinds of needs here, and be clear that you are going to rightly utilize the money and not utilize or misuse it. So you can make out how much I need to save and then I can make out what could be various modes in which I can save. So one mode could also be like you purchase a house and uh, try to uh, get income from rent. This is also one possibility. In this case, so four, yeah. Uh, I am myself alone, not I think of my family also. If you have put the calculation for myself, it's okay. One of is enough. If I want to think of uh, in future plan to the others in the my family, then it is essential to do that activity. Is it correct? See, again, I'll say like uh, you and your spouse are going to be old around the same time, but your children would be young. So our major task is to ensure right education and scar for the children. So that ensures happiness in them. And also they are able to self-reliant through production. So this is our major responsibility. So I do not need to save you know, that way for my children. I need to make them capable to produce more than what they require. And naturally they will inherit what we possess. So no need to accumulate or save even for the children. Let them be self-reliant. We have to educate them in such a way that they are able to fulfill the needs of the self and needs of the body. Both in the right manner. There is a common saying in Bihar and Eastern UP that if your children are good, then why to save? And if your children are bad, then also why to save for the children? So if they are good, they will earn enough for them. And if they are bad, they will mishandle the funds. They will misuse it and it will spoil their life also. They will spoil the society also. So why to save for them? Okay, thank you. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, all. Namaste. Uh, uh, see, I am convinced that uh, less and less or exact uh, amount of physical facility is sufficient for me. But in some cases, 
I failed to convince family members. They have different types of arguments and all that, and I am not able to convince them. So in that case, what is the best way to convince them that, yes, it is not required now and it is not required at all? So these things I am facing now. So my query regarding that, you can address. Yes. So first of all, we don't need to convince. We need to help them explore. Second thing, we need to develop a program for self-exploration in each member of the family. So for example, mm -hmm. like if you look at the peer group, you find it most difficult with the peer group, maybe your spouse, isn't it? Or your uh, in-laws. So there you may find it difficult. But if you look at the children, so we can always guide them and we can develop a program where they can be a part of this process of self-exploration and they can develop their understanding. So we have to ensure that process of self-exploration in the family for this sitting together, discussing various things, and listening to the people, listening to their concerns, their aspirations, and putting forward our proposal for self-exploration will help. So first thing, we don't need to convince. Second thing, we have to develop this process of self-exploration. Third thing, we have to accept that each one of them is an individual is a human being and they are responsible for their happiness or unhappiness and they have to make a right program for their happiness so i have to accept them as human beings though they are in my family it's not that they are going to go my way <clears throat> or i am going to be dictated by them so i don't have to dictate them i have to only help them explore so i have to uh, accept them as individuals and then I have to make them responsible. So I'm able to see that the need of physical facility is limited. If you are not able to see this, then well and good. So I will fulfill the limited need for the facility you know, through my production activity. The rest you can take care of. You become self-reliant. So you earn and you, you know, fulfill your need. I'll spend the rest of my time, energy, money you know, for fulfillment of human goal. This is something that we can decide very much. It so happens you know, that we over-evaluate our family members and when they don't listen to us, we under-evaluate them. Neither is okay. So I will not over-evaluate them. That since they are in my family, you know, I have to showcase my family as a kind of model to the society. You know, or I have to make them perfect human beings. You no. Know. They are just human beings. They are only that in my family. There are so many human beings outside my family who might have better sanskars, who might have better tendencies to self-explore. So I can uh, be available to them. I can help them develop as human beings with human consciousness. So this third thing is also very important. Sometimes we get caught up in some assumptions that I have to showcase my family as a model to the society since I am into this process of self-exploration. I have to ensure that all my family members are going to have right understanding. No need for that. It is some kind of pressure that we are trying to build upon us. So, I am a human being. I am able to see the need for it. I am working for it. My family members may not be able to see this today. Fine. Those who are able to see this today, I am working for them. And I can also uh, be always open to help my family members work for self-exploration. And since their natural acceptance is the same, today or tomorrow, they will observe, they will understand. And when it comes to arranging for physical facilities, I can limit my role. That, okay, this much I'm able to see as the need for nurturing, protecting, right utilizing the body. Rest, you can take the responsibility. Why not? Okay, okay. Thank you. Nice, Bhaiya. So when we evaluate the current situation, we are able to see that we are not clear about the existence of human being. So wrongly, we assume, and this becomes a gross misunderstanding, that I am the same as body. So we are not able to understand the human being. So we assume ourselves to the body. So we also get confused about the need of the self and need of the body. And we assume that to be to the same. 
so the need of the body is physical facility my need is respect see and and i equate the two so i try to ensure respect through physical facility now the need of the body in terms of physical facility and is limited but when i try to fulfill a continuous need through limited physical facility what has to be done now so i have to keep on fetching new and new physical facilities i have to go on and uh, crossing the limit so somehow i have an assumption that now the needs of the physical facility have become unlimited so to fulfill the continuous need of the cell we try to accumulate as much physical facility as possible without ever being able to know how much i require i assume that to be unlimited we generally say this in the workshop no that when a human being has lack of physical facility is uncomfortable right and unhappy but once he gets the physical facility he start thinking about 100 other things now why is that happening because we are not able to see the source of happiness so we are doing it for the sake of happiness i am good getting food which is good for health but if i have more income then i try to add some variety to the food No. now i have to import fruits from australia i have to import some uh, dry fruits from europe i have to import something from africa something from us right why i am going for that and i am trying to show maybe it to others that okay you i am consuming things from across the world i am trying to get some favorable feeling from people outside you know, what is the purpose because the source of happiness is not innate to me so i am trying to somewhat you know fetch it from outside it is generally found that if i am taking food and it is regional and seasonal it is most suitable for health uh there is one video uh, on youtube also uh, like there is a new channel which has uh, so many useful videos they are uh the lady was talking about the choices of food and then she said there is some continental food chinese food thai food this food that food and the conclusion was that the best food is the home cooked food <laughs> because whatever you try to get from outside there are so many preservatives there isn't it there are preservatives in the bread that we get from the market in the spices that we get from the market so many things are getting mixed you know some adulteration might be there and then we are spending so much for the sake of taste you know but if i try to grow it locally if i try to consume it locally it is best suited for health but if i am not clear then i you know try to extend the limit of the need for physical facility this is just an example of food it could be with clothes it could be with instruments isn't it just for the sake of momentary pleasure some excitement we are spending so much so the outcome is that we are ultimately deprived it doesn't matter where whether we have 1 billion rupees or 1 lakh rupees it is not going to determine our sense of prosperity if i am feeling that i need only 50000 rupees in a month and i am having 1 lakh rupees and i am getting 1 lakh rupees per month i am prosperous but if i feel that i need to be the richest person in the world and i am only owning let's say 10 billion dollars then i'm not prosperous i'm deprived so essentially with this modernity what is happening the physical facilities are multiplying okay but the sense of deprivation is also continuing people are not having the feeling of sharing with the other you see people have become so kind of you know uh, constricted in their thoughts isn't it if they have to support some person in the family they have so many thoughts while earlier if you see like we are having joint families and people used to take care of the entire joint family so this is something to observe very closely why is it happening it is merely because we are not able to understand the self and the body rightly and that's how misunderstand the need of the self and need of the body and we try to fulfill the need of the self is continuous to limited physical facility by making them you know, more and more and then it appears to be unlimited but at the end we are ultimately feeling deprived and then we got up we get caught up in this loop we are kindly click it
yeah we get caught up in this loop loop <clears throat> so there is a feeling of deprivation inside i feel that i don't have enough so i make effort for more physical facility it could be ethical it could be unethical by any means i have to go for it isn't it and then i accumulate somehow but still i am feeling deprived so i keep on you know working more and more for it and i get simply caught up in this loop and we are not able to see that essentially i want to be prosperous i don't want to accumulate i don't want to possess possessing or accumulating is not my basic aspiration my basic aspiration is happiness my basic aspiration is prosperity which i am missing out nice so let us observe this yeah now we can listen yeah when i and including my wife uh, and we all uh, family members exposed to uh, this uh, darshan Then slowly, slowly, uh, we could see that uh, the needs of the, uh, I mean, uh, 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 that manav is uh, a coexistence of self and uh, body, and the needs of the self are different. The needs of the body are different, and uh, now a lot of changes happened in this uh, uh, last two years. So I think uh, uh, the, the questions which was put earlier by Bhaiya, uh, the answer is to just expose these people to the darshan. and the more we uh, exposed to this darshans i think the more uh, uh, understanding which we have uh, with respect to uh, say assumption or right understanding we are exposed to right understanding and when we are exposed to right understanding we automatically tend to uh, reduce our uh, accumulation and uh, this uh, sense of prosperity increases that is my experience here thank you nice nice we have to observe whether i am able to see the need for physical facility is limited or not whether i can evaluate the physical facilities in my house and find out what is the purpose of each of them so this is something doable at a personal level bhaiya yeah and, and bhai now people have started asking do i really need it this is the questions which is put to i mean and which is coming into the mind of the people around me i mean uh, just we are sharing do i uh, do i need it or uh, i mean which is that which needs this is it body or the self and what is the purpose is it driving uh, or is it getting uh, respect from this uh, material thing or what so uh, whenever uh, every time jaisa aap bolte meri chahna kya hai so that is the questions which i am putting to everybody and everybody also has started jo unki chahna kya hai while doing everything so this meri chahna kya hai ye ek sawal abhi sab taraf hamara taraf ho gaya hai ji bhaiya nice nice bhaiya ji namaste bhaiya नमस्ते सभी को भैया इन द ईयर ऑफ 2016 आई वाज डिलीवरिंग द सेमिनार ऑन नेचुरल फार्मिंग आई स्टडीड लॉट एंड आई विजिटेड अराउंड द 50 विलेजेस इन द एरिया ऑफ नांदेड़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट व्हेन आई आई विजिटेड इन द विलेज पारवा द तालुका इज लोहा and district is nanded and i went there i seen that these people are uh, quite happy and they was uh, not uh, uh, saying that we want this we want this uh, so i was searching that uh, what is the substitute for the uh, these are the chemical fertilizers and again the uh, what are the substitutes of uh, pesticides i found that that is the dashparni ark is the substitute for the pesticides and uh, uh, that is a uh, jivamrut is a substitute for the chemical fertilizer and i i studied it i prepared uh, the some experiments and i put up in the front of that uh, that uh, uh, village uh, peoples so they were they were happy and they says that we are using and uh, that is, uh, uh, story uh, that uh, 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 theory is developed by the uh, mr subhash palekar from amravati he delivered a lot of seminars on it uh, so uh, they they was not feeling the deprivation uh they was feeling the uh, just as a uh, uh, prosperity in it and uh, they was preparing the farming like that when i uh, went uh, at that uh, place i seen that uh, i was uh, standing uh, I, i was in the front of a hanuman temple and i just asked so some people sir came and they says that are you going to just uh, publicity of the any fertilizer or any chemical uh, uh, pesticides no i said that no i want to just talk with you about these uh, uh, what is the natural farming 
so uh, uh, they have it but uh, sometimes uh, uh, at the time of uh, just uh, in hurry they was going to the some of these things so this was the sharing about uh, the prosperity as well as uh, how uh, they uh, they are uh, just going for the um, uh, um, out of the deprivation uh, this uh, i i, I yeah, yeah. now it is time for hindi session so yeah. nice bhaiya we may yeah. continue sharing in the hindi also you are there in the hindi ji ji bhaiya ji respond to one or two comments that were there that is assuming self and body the most fundamental sanskar so not i'll say most fundamental but this is a common assumption <clears throat> a very common assumption ji nice thank you so much kumar bhaiya for putting the discussion and helping us in the process of self exploration